The time is now. While the Venus Kazemi is going on, Saturn is stationing direct on October 23rd at 18 degrees and 35 minutes of Aquarius. So what does what does this mean? How are we going to experience this? What do we expect with Saturn stationing? Well, a couple different things. Number one, Saturn stations tend to bring the mood down a little bit. It tends to put our feet firmly on the ground. Saturn is the reality check planet. Saturn is the sobering clarity. You know, this is the truth that you don't want to hear, but you need to hear kind of thing. And yeah, so it... I find that like the mood around Saturn stations are just kind of just, it is what it is. Just it's, it's neither high, it's, it's not low. It's just baseline, which can be a bummer. You know, if you tend to be like a more Jupiterian or sun person, for example, it just is just brings you down a notch here. And the reason why is because Saturn wants us to be serious Saturn wants us to look at the cold, hard facts about something. So while we're getting like this beautiful sort of like Venus clarity in our relationships, Saturn is also giving us a huge reality check and giving us a nudge to deal with some important things that we can't ignore anymore because of time. You know, we value our time and that's important in relationships. You know, we want to make the most of our time, especially as it's something that's ultra valuable for many of us today. But the really interesting layer of this Saturn station is that if you have any planets at 18 degrees of the fixed signs, that's Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, you are going to be feeling this again. Why do I say again? Because Uranus just also stationed Um, retrograde in Taurus at 18 degrees. So yeah, this is like the last big showdown of the Saturn Uranus square. Even though they're not exact, they are both within that 18 degrees, which we could call it a square, right? It's a square. So we're seeing an intensification here of these themes that we've been hashing and rehashing all year and all of last year. The Saturn Uranus square is the defining astrological signature of this sort of post pandemic era. And I put post in quotations because we're still in it. And we're still in it too because this square is still happening. You know, um, this square is bringing innovation to the way that we live, it's changed the way that we work. It's brought in like a massive wave of workers revolution, workers going on strike. Right now we have a huge railroad strike that is actually threatening um, some of the holiday supplies. And, you know, a lot of times we see gas prices go up this time of year too. So yeah, with the eclipses happening in Taurus, Scorpio, there's there could be a lot of fluctuation in terms of resources, what's available um, in terms of supply, the supply chains. So yeah, we could we could expect to see more themes around strikes, workers revolution, and all of that that's going on. We also see major technological developments that are going on with the Saturn Uranus square. We've seen huge strides forward with um, self-driving vehicles. And we're also seeing just how much more we actually are able to do things online, um, which has been sort of great in the astrology community. But I know that that's hard in other areas of life, like schools, for example. So, yeah, the Saturn Uranus Square, innovations in technology, liberation of the people. So all in all, it's, it's not so bad, but it is changing life as we know it. So we're going to see another sort of intensification of of those themes here. Um, And yeah, I I think especially like, okay, so from here, Saturn is going to be going forward through the end of Aquarius. Okay, so this is it. We've had Saturn in Aquarius since lockdown, since March of 2020. And Saturn from here is making a beeline into Pisces never to return to Aquarius for another 28 years. So this is kind of exciting. We're finishing up this story. And if you want some more help sort of contextualizing what Saturn and Aquarius has has helped you to accomplish, 
you know, you can talk to me, you can talk to another trusted astrologer about your Saturn and Aquarius journey. What has Saturn taught you? Um, How have you grown to be more self-sufficient, more mature in your Aquarius house? What have you learned? How have you grown? Where have you been challenged? How have you risen to meet those challenges? So we're getting sort of the last of it. So if, so think about where you have Aquarius in your chart, what's been going on there for you. This is the last of it. So if there's something on your Saturn and Aquarius list that you haven't quite gotten to, you have until March 7th to complete that task. And when Saturn leaves, there will be a little present, you know, depending on, depending on how, how much you rose to the occasion. Okay. Okay. So um, that's a little bit about Saturn stationing direct, and that's your astrology shot of the day. Bye. Thanks for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your world, you can connect with me on all platforms at Astro Catherine. You can also find me at katherineurban.com, where you can book your one-on-one consultation and get insights for your chart for the year ahead.